What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous, most toxic black man on the internet, the brother who told you not to be messing around and busting it open for these white boys, but you did it anyway, and now you're on the internet looking dumb as hell, and I'm black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. The, I don't know if she's a model or, or, or what, but what's this girl's name? Kayla Nicole. And her ex-boyfriend, football player Travis Kels, have been making it into the news again for dumb reasons, really. It's more because Kayla Nicole just really can't keep her mouth shut about this white boy. They've, they've been broken up for at least two years now, but she keeps uh, bringing him up in conversation and he keeps making it to the news. Now, I know why she's doing it because she probably isn't over the fact that this white boy dumped her, but uh, she keeps doing these things and saying things, and really, it's only making her look stupid. Like, I think she's bringing this stuff up to, I guess, somewhat shame him, but I don't think a lot of women realize when they do this stuff, when they try to bring up a bad things or something bad that their ex-boyfriend did, they, they're trying to shame the guy, but it only winds up making them look stupid, not him, because you dated him. You gave your body to this man. You acted like a fool for this man. That That's exactly what uh, Kayla Nicole did. She was one of these black women that used to get on uh, TikTok and other social media platforms acting a goddamn fool, twerking for this white man, just doing stupid stuff. Uh, she would run out on the football field to give him a hug, and he looked like he didn't even want to give her a hug. Just look, making herself look stupid the whole time. And now she's, you know, making comments about him. So if you don't know who these two are, don't feel bad. But I have talked about them before. I talked about this couple years ago on my other channel where I think that the name of the video was actually called Divestment Fails because I talked about when they actually broke up in their relationship during the, the pandemic. If you want to see that video, it is now on my Patreon. It's being featured there. So you can go watch that video or download the audio or whatever. But that's the only place you can see it. And I remember very vividly when I uploaded that video, the divestment crowd, they got really mad at that one. They, they didn't like that video at all. And I think because I called them out for living vicariously through these different swirling relationships of celebrities because they can't actually get a white man to swirl with themselves. So they, they live vicariously through these celebrities. And that made them very upset. But uh, but yeah, uh, Kayla Nicole, like I said before, she she embarrassed herself even when she was with this white man, acting a fool and doing all types of weird stuff for this guy. And, you know, the, the divestment crowd, they made a big deal about this couple because it was a white male athlete who decided to date a black female. So that, that was a big for them because they like doing that that tit for tat thing with the gender the gender war. They always say that all these black male athletes have white girlfriends, which is actually not true. But that's the narrative that they like to run with. So to have a white male uh get himself a black girlfriend, that meant the world to them. And they were rooting for this this couple to stay together. But of course it didn't last. And when they did break up like I said, it was two years ago. There were some rumors that, that Travis was might have been cheating, but even that, you know, that that didn't pan out as they, they thought it would. Once again, like I said, I think she was trying to embarrass him and make it seem like it was his fault. Because I, I think honestly, I think that he dumped her because either his manager or whoever the the family around him probably talked in his ear and said, You need to get rid of this black girl. You it's okay to have them as a one night stand, but you can't have this as your wife. In fact, now it's come up that uh, one of the things that Kayla Nicole is embarrassed about was the fact that she had been with Travis for five years and he never even brought up marriage. Like, like marriage never came up. She she thought that he was going to marry her, but really he was just uh, skeeting and retreating. He was doing cartwheels and jumping up and down in her crotch area. And she thought 
that they were going to get married someday. You know, she she didn't realize that she was just a black jump off, that she was just his little chocolate jungle fantasy that he was having there. She didn't realize that. And a lot of spoilers go through the same thing, especially when you get involved with these white guys who are in entertainment or these white guys who are in, uh, you know, some higher office. They don't realize that they're a jump off for a lot of these white guys. Then the, the same exact nonsense that you put onto black men all the time, these white guys see you the same way. All right. And, and it has really nothing to do with. It partially has to do with race, but a lot of it has to do with how you view yourself. You know, you put out a certain type of energy, and that brings these type of scummy guys to you. Okay, so you, you have to be conscious of that, to how you're presenting yourself as a woman or as a lady, to what types of men you're attracting. I tell I tell young men this all the time, of the type of women they attract, so it, it does work in reverse as well for women. But... Uh, you know, she thought he was going to get married to her and, you know, it didn't work out. And I, I kind of made a little snide comment on my community page just saying, you know, I thought it was that, you know, white men, that they made black women wives first before they started getting the booty. Right. That, that's that's the mantra that a lot of these swirlers and black feminists put out there that, you know, the, the white man makes you a wife. The white man is going to take care of you. He's going to, he's going to give you honor in being his wife. Uh, not in Travis Kelce's, uh, not in his world, I guess. I guess for him, he didn't want her as a wife. And I have even heard the, you know, one of my subs was telling me that now people are trying to make it seem like, oh, the reason Travis Kelce did make Kayla Nicole his wife is because he, hang, he hung, hangs out with all these black athletes who do the same thing, who dog women out. He was trying to be too much like a black guy. So so when a white boy starts acting like he's black and has the black man swag, because that's, that's how Travis Kells dresses. He dresses like he's a black guy. He tries to have a little fade. He kind of dresses like a lot of black men do. And, you know, black women love that. When, when, Squirrelers love that. I'm not going to say all black women love that because some black women with sense realize that that's phony, it's fake, and they don't find that attractive at all with these, these white boys who try to act like they got black swag, right? But there are women out there who do love that and and fall in love with white boys that act like that and think they're just so cute and so great when they pretend to be and put on a black costume, basically, be, basically acting like a person, a white person in blackface. But now you're saying him emulating black men is bad because he mistreated this black woman. So now, so now it's bad all of a sudden. You see, once again, like I, like I said in my other video the other day, uh, swirlers like to flip-flop. They like to change back and forth. Uh, Whatever is convenient for them at the time, they'll go with it. And then when it's inconvenient, they'll just drop it and disavow it. You know what I'm saying? So, so, they, so at no point can they be held responsible or take any type of personal responsibility for their views or the rhetoric that they put out there. They'll always jump away from it when it's convenient. But, you know, what we do here, we don't let them get away with that. We always push forward and make sure we put it back in their face so they know that they're messing up and BSing, and we know the games that they're playing out here, okay? And last but not least, you know, there's that other story where, uh, Kayla Nicole was saying that Travis Kelce never gave her more than $100 during their entire relationship, during their whole five-year relationship. And once again, I think she put this out there to embarrass him, to make it seem like he's broke. But that, that doesn't make him seem stupid, lady. That makes you seem stupid. You stayed with him. You opened your ass for him. You acted like a complete buffoon for him. So that means that uh, when you were making those stupid TikTok videos where you're twerking in his face, putting your butt in his face, that means that he was only he gave you a hundred dollars to do that. You see what I'm saying? You see how stupid and cheap you come off as now that you you have exposed this. So you made yourself look dumb. Not I mean he's goofy anyway. He was goofy when you got with him, so it's not really all that big of a deal for us to see how dumb he is. But now you're you're looking stupid too. Because once again, you were with him. You probably did all types of freaky stuff for him. 
probably open your butt for him, probably uh, put yourself out there uh, for some of his other white buddies to bust down. Y'all know about some how these athletes get down. They pass you around to their buddies and whatnot. And some of these dumb women go for that. But you did all that, and he didn't marry you, and he only gave you about $100 the whole time you guys were together. You look like Boo Boo the Fool, not him. So you folks can let me know how you feel about this in the comments section. Once again, the video that I did about them years ago, about their, them breaking up, is now featured on my Patreon. So if you want to go see it and download it, you can go download it there. It's five bucks a month. And you can download a lot of my classic videos, also exclusive content. There's going to be some more exclusive content coming next week, and as well as my original cartoons that I do for Black Up Inya. So you can go check those out all on my Patreon. Anyway, guys, Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on these devil's back.